Hi friends, it's Amy and my shadow at the Wood County District Public Library Children's Place. This week, Miss Allie read a book about Groundhog Day, which is when we watch to see if Punxsutawney Phil, the groundhog, sees his shadow. Because the legend is that if he sees his shadow, we're gonna have more winter. But if he doesn't see a shadow, we'll have an early spring. Now shadows are made when something blocks light. Like my shadow on this paper. I, my body, my head, and my shoulders are blocking the light from getting all the way to this paper. And we can use STEM words to talk about light and shadow. Remember STEM is science, technology, engineering, and math. So let's first talk about science. Light in the natural world comes from mainly the sun. Now we've also been able to make man-made um, kinds of light, sources of light. So we have lamps, like the lamp that's shining on me right now. We have light bulbs in our house. We've also made flashlights to see in the dark. That's a source of light but mainly they're all little light bulbs that people have made, unlike the sun, which is natural. And a shadow is made by anything that blocks the light. If it blocks or stops the light from getting all the way, it makes a shadow or shade, which really is just kind of helpful shadow, isn't it? The shade. When it's hot outside, we can shade our face by a hat or our hand Buildings make shade or shadow because they usually block the sun. Trees, even things like lamp shades, the things that go over the lamps and the lights in our house, it keeps that bright light bulb from being too bright for us. It makes us a little bit of shade. Now next is technology and engineering. So both of those things, technology and engineering, have created both light and are things that block it, right? So we've made light bulbs and flashlights like we talked about. We use technology and engineering. Um, pe people before clocks were made used things like sundials and obelisks to tell the time beca because they can measure the shadow. So a sundial looks like this. And you might have seen that in a garden usually somewhere outside in the sun. And wherever the shadow is on this dial tells you what time it is. Now even before um, sundials, people used poles like this boy is measuring the shadow of the pole to tell what time it is. And that other word was obelisk. And that's sort of a statue that also measures the sun. So they can tell by the length of the shadow and they can tell by where it is in their circle there, what time it is. Now, length of the shadow, how long it is. And I'll show you a picture here like this. So if the sun is right above you, your shadow is shorter. But if the sun is far behind you, it makes a longer shadow. Man has been able to create energy from light, like solar power. Now it's important for us to um, put solar panels that collect the sun to make energy where the sun is really bright. It wouldn't be very um, useful to put solar panels in a shady spot or a shadowy spot like the woods. So next in our STEM words are math. We can measure energy and heat, and we can also um, more easily tell the shape of things when it has a shadow or shading, like in paintings, but also we kind of, our brain does that math for us by reading shade. So older kids or adults might know shading and drawing, so these have darker areas that we can tell that object is a cone 
or a sphere, or a cylinder, or a cube. Shadows are also really fun to play with. I invite you guys to explore and play with shadows. Um, this week, we're going to have available a Take It, Make It. This week, we're going to give you some paper so you can play with shadows. And you'll get one of these papers to play with inside. And we'll also give you a big piece of paper. So you could lay down or you could stand at the edge of the paper and somebody could trace your shadow or something else that makes a tall shadow. Maybe your pet will stand still and you could trace their shadow. I'm going to move the camera so I can show you some cool um, ways to use your paper in this week's Take It, Make It. Okay, so I have my piece of paper, my small paper that you'll get in your Take It, Make It. And I have some fun things that are creating a shadow. Now you can trace these shadows and make something out of them. So I'm just gonna go around my vase. There's my vase's shadow. And here's my dinosaur shadow. It's funny what shapes they make and how parts of them are longer than they are on the actual toy. Whoop. Now, I have a lamp on my toys right now. But I'm going to use a flashlight next and I'll show you how the shadow changes. So let's turn off our lamp and let's instead use my phone's flashlight. See how the um, shadow of the car changes? It's a little bit, because I can move the light closer and it's a little bit brighter. So now the shadow of my car is a little bit um, easier to see. Right, let's see what this, what it, how it changes the dinosaur shadow. Ooh, look, I can even see ridges now. And he looks a little more like a dinosaur. I can see its teeth even over here because this light is stronger and closer. So that would be a fun thing to do for you. Get um, a flashlight, ask maybe um, whoever has a phone in your house if you could borrow their flashlight on their phone and make some shadows. I even have some little toys, which are pretty fun. Think of the picture you can make with these shadows. There you go. So you can make a whole little scene and you can make the shadows long and you can make them short because remember they're shorter if the, if the light is above you or long shadows. So I hope you all decide to come to the library, um, to the children's place and ask for a take it, make it roll of paper to practice big shadows um, and maybe a book or two about shadows. We have lots of great ones with lots of fun ideas of practicing and playing with shadows. Also, books about making shadow puppets. So this one is shadow hand puppets. So, you know, how to form your hands to make a shadow that looks maybe like an animal. Does that look like a dog or a, maybe this one like a duck? Quack, quack. Or you can make just very simple puppets like these, put them on a, a straw or popsicle stick cut out paper, and then they make shadows when you hold them against your paper with the light behind it. You can make a little shadow puppet play. So I hope you think about shadows now and in the summer and when we can be out in the sun, and we'll see you in the children's place. Bye.